much, much heavier grade, which means it can take a lot more punishment. In this video, I'm gonna be talking all about the black heavyweight karate gi we have for sale at Enzo Martial Arts. I'm gonna be talking all about the features that it's got, who would use this, why you'd wanna buy this over other karate gis, and at the end, I'll put together a short montage of people training in karate and ninjas. Hi, my name's Doug Swift. I've been doing martial arts for the past 33 years and been the owner of Enzo Martial Arts for the past 16 years. If you like this video, click the little icon in the bottom right hand corner, subscribe to this channel and get all the latest videos from Enzo Martial Arts. So let's get into this video and learn all about the black heavyweight karate gi. For the video, I've wrote to my buddy Eric to do a bit of modeling so you can see exactly how the karate gi fits on a person. Now this is just slightly small for him, so it's probably one size too small. So usually for a size, someone the size of Eric, you want it a little bit longer in the body and it would come down a little bit longer in the arms. It kind of has the look of a Japanese cut, but actually this gi is a European cut. It's based on a European build, not a Japanese build like the Japanese cuts ones are. So yeah, this gi is a European cut. Some of the other features of this gi, it is a 14 ounce canvas. So 14 ounce means the thickness of the canvas. So it's much thicker than say the standard lightweight karate gis. Much, much heavier grade, which means it can take a lot more punishment. So the lapels are much, much thicker and the canvas is much, much, much heavier. So you don't get a belt with this gi. So the assumption is that you've already been trained a long time if you're moving onto a gi like this. People don't tend to buy these when they're starting out. They tend to move onto a gi like this. So you don't get a belt. So the assumption is you've already got a belt with it. As you'd expect from a karate gi, you get ties both sides, which keeps your gi nice and, nice and straight and looking good. But rather than the elasticated bottoms, you get the old school traditional ties. So this is just literally a tie that you pull around tie in the middle. Much more like the judo trousers and like geese of old. These geese are mainly used by ninjutsu practitioners these days. Now in the past we have had some traditional jiu-jitsu practitioners using these, the traditional Japanese jiu-jitsu, and we have some karate practitioners using these. But these days it's mainly the ninjutsu guys, and out of all the different geese that are available to them, this is by far the most popular for the ninjutsu practitioners. It's lightweight enough so you can use a lot of the striking elements and like the sparring elements and you can do a relatively good amount of cardio in it without sort of sweating buckets. But it's also thick enough to be able to stand up to the punishment of the throws and the break falls and etc etc. So yeah, perfect gi for ninjutsu and like I said, the most popular by far. So this gi is made of 100% cotton. So unlike the lightweights where you just can't afford to make them out of 100% cotton these days, you need the polyester mix. Because of the price of these, you are able to make them with 100% cotton. So this is, this kind of harks back to a much more traditional gi. People really like the 100% cotton, much more traditional, and it has a really, really nice natural feel. Now there are a few downsides of cotton, and you know, people are moving over to polyester a bit, because it does shrink a little bit. So you've just got to be careful with that. So people who have trained a long time will be very used to the shrinkage and they know like how to play with that. But what you want to do is keep it on a cold wash. So cold wash or 30 degrees maximum. And then you'll get very little shrinkage. If you do want to shrink it a bit, if it's a little bit big, maybe try it on a 40, if that doesn't work on a 50. But really we do not ever recommend hot sun that and certainly don't tumble dry it. Now you'll notice with these geese that they will get grayer and grayer and grayer over time and there's a few things you can do to protect against that. One thing is don't have it out in direct sunlight because obviously that will make it fade. Also if you can get like a black colour protector or a colour protector detergent and that will really help keep the black in. So cold wash, detergent, keep it out of the sunlight and you'll get a black gear for as long as is possible but eventually they will go gray now looking gray isn't necessarily a bad thing you will go into the club and you will see that people have got grayer and grayer geese and those people tend to have trained for a lot longer time. So it's kind of a bit of a badge of honor to have a really, really gray gee and sometimes they almost go like half, halfway to white. To be honest, I prefer them when they look jet black. I think that's how they, they look the best. When they start to get gray, you think, oh, maybe, 
maybe it's time to buy another gi but of course i would say that because i'm selling them but in my opinion the black looks amazing just thinking about sizing giving you a few tips on sizing now these black heavyweight gis are quite generous in their cut which means there's quite a lot of material for each size so usually say if you're a 4 170 the 170 means that you're 170 centimeters high but actually these geese are quite generous so most people find they tend to go a size down so 170 you might actually fit a 160 better now this is assuming a slim build so for instance i'm usually like a between a 180 170 i might even want a 160 for these it's definitely a 170 definitely not a 180. so it's a, it's a very generous cut so you do probably want to drop down a size now if you're a little bit big around the middle your size will probably fit you very well because there's so much material on them and they actually have this extra bit of material sewn in so you get more of a wrap around your body However, if you're not sure, and what I've said hasn't made any sense at all, give us a call at the shop, or you can email us, and we'll do our best to help you out getting you the perfect fit. At Enzo Martial Arts, we sell a whole range of karate gis. So not only do we have the black heavyweight karate gi, we also have the black lightweight karate gi, the white lightweight karate gi, the heavyweight karate gi, carbon copy of this one, European cut, and the very popular Japanese cut karate gi. We also do a black judo gi, very popular with the ninjutsu guys. And we also do white karate trousers and black karate trousers individually to buy. As promised at the beginning of this video, here's a short montage of people doing ninjutsu in the black heavyweight karate gi. Thanks very much for watching. I hope it was useful. I hope you learned loads about the black heavyweight karate gi. Remember to subscribe, click the little icon in the bottom right hand corner, get all the videos from Enzo Martial Arts and keep up to date with everything that we're putting out there. Thanks very much and I'll see you soon. Cheers.